Hey, Nick Pino here, and I'm at the unveiling of the Ford Lightweight model car, and I'm here with Kumar, Vice President of Engineering for Ford. Kumar, if you could tell us a little bit about the technology that's going on behind us and how it pertains to Ford's overall strategy. So, lightweighting in general is a key part of our, our long-term plan, product development plan, and this car is a great research platform for us to, to demonstrate how we can take weight out of the car. Um, we've been working on lightweighting for 20 plus years. Uh, as you walked into the tech shop, you probably saw the car outside. That's the Ford GT. Uh, it's uh, one of the best, most exciting supercars we've ever done. Uh, that was launched in 2005, and that car is still very fresh on the, on the street, but that was nine years ago. And that car used some very exotic materials and very high-end manufacturing to lower the weight of the car. And what you see behind me here is today. That's the Ford F-150. Uh, we took out 700 pounds out of that vehicle by use of aluminum. This is all aluminum body, and we use some very high strength steel for the chassis and the frame of the vehicle. Uh, what that does is it's better for fuel economy, but it is also better for, for hauling more stuff. So that 700 pounds less in the vehicle, the customers can use, use it for more payload. They can use it for better trailer towing. So that's the present. That, car, that vehicle will be in the market. Uh, by the end of this year and we wanted to share the future with you so it's obvious next step for us to build upon the success of the aluminum uh, body F-series. Uh, this is a research platform we're using multiple technologies we're using aluminum sheets for certain balance panels we're using composite springs in the chassis we are using composite materials for the instrument panel um, we're using carbon fiber wheels as you can see so by using a ton of different technologies we've been able to reduce the vehicle's weight uh, to the weight of a vehicle that's two classes under it. Great, now Kamar, you've got six of these vehicles going into production. Two of them are going to be used for crash testing, two of them are going to go in for corrosion testing, and then two are going to be used for all the other sorts of sound vibrations, uh, yeah, noise limiting, all that kind of stuff, correct? So when you use different materials, um, we want to make sure that the research platform actually delivers on the key attributes of the car that the customers need. So the six are prototypes, they're not going into production, but we are going to build six actual prototypes. And as you mentioned, when you use new materials, uh, corrosion, for especially for northern states or states where there's a lot of snow, um, is a very, very important uh, attribute of the car. So we want to make sure the, the, all the materials live up uh, to all the harshest environments. Uh, two of them we will use for uh, crash testing. Safety is very critical uh, uh, element of the car. And we will use the uh, one vehicle for noise, vibration, harshness testing, and another one for other drivability attributes. So it's a fully functional car, uh, and we're going to use the research platform to, to develop these, mature these technologies. Great. Kamar, thanks so much for talking to us today. Thank you very much for having me. For everything you need on auto technology, keep it locked right here on Tech Radar.